Welcome back. As promised, uh, videos on, on careers of players still going, uh, just not daily like they were during the offseason. And when I was finished with the one for Freddie Olison, I thought, you know, I should take a look at somebody from the 0-2 team, the 0-2 Stanley Cup winning Detroit Red Wings. <clears throat> and one that I've had a few requests for is Thomas Holmstrom. Now, Holmstrom, a number 257 pick in 1994. Yes, this is when the Detroit Red Wings were regularly hitting with late draft picks. And what it was, they were ahead of their time when it came to scouting in Europe. Uh, they had, you know, uh, notes on players that other teams hadn't heard of. And so things happened. Uh, and, and getting Holmstrom was a nice sneaky way of picking up a very good player who was never an all-star. And this is the thing, you know, he, Holmstrom's never an all-star. He's not going to end up in the Hall of Fame of any sort. So I'll put him in the THG Hall of Fame because he worked hard. He was never the, the biggest player in the league or anything, but he was the master of screening the goaltender. And the mentality of a player who is willing to stand in front of the net and go, all right, well, the puck may hit me and I may die, but if it hits me and it goes in the net, it's worth it. Um, that's, you know, there's a special kind of player that is willing to stand in front of the net and take those slappers. You got Lidstrom on the point, L Lidstrom and, and, and a lot of really good, like Fedorov also would man the point on the power play. So, uh, for Holmstrom, uh, you know, there's a lot of bravery to this. So he comes into the league in 96, 97, 47 games, six goals, three assists, nine points in the playoffs. He plays the one game. They do win the Stanley cup. He gets the Stanley cup. So, uh, just the one game played in the playoffs of the four cups that are on the board. That's the one that looks a little superfluous, but he still gets credit for that. 97-98 uh, plays 57 games, 5 goals, 17 assists, 22 points. This also shows a pattern of the Detroit Red Wings not rushing guys to the NHL. Not only are there a couple of years in between when he gets drafted and when he comes into the NHL, he doesn't play every game right out of the gate. Uh, that's not the way that the Red Wings do things. And I think that's going to be the case under Eiserman with the Red Wings now, too. So, in the playoffs, 22 games, 7 goals, 12 assists, 19 points. So, while the first Stanley Cup ring, you can look and go, well, he just played the one game. The second, you have no doubt that he played a large role in that. He scores almost as many points in the playoffs in 22 games as he had in 57 games during, during the regular season. He is a really excellent player when the games matter. So it's not just a guy who's screening in front of the net. It's a guy who has pretty decent hands around the net too. And an agitator who draws a lot of power a lot of power plays for Detroit as well. Because the guy who's in front of the net, not only is he taking his own life in his hands, but he's driving the other team completely mental because they can't get him out of there. It's like you knock him down, you cross check him, you, you hold him, you hook him, whatever you gotta do, and he just goes right back in there again. 98-99, 82 games, 13 goals, 21 assists, 34 points. And again, very, very excellent depth piece for Detroit. Uh, and in the playoffs, 10 games played, 4 goals, 3 assists, 7 points. Again, scores at a better rate in the playoffs than in the regular season. 99-2000, 72 games, 13 goals, 22 assists, 35 points. 9 playoff games, 3 goals, 1 assist, 4 points. Now, what's interesting with Holmstrom, too, is at this point, he is a young player on an old team. The discussion once they, they lost in 99 and 2000 was, got to get younger, got to get younger. And it was like Ken Hall went, oh yeah, how about Brett Hall? Hall's older, what are you doing? We said to get younger. Why not? <laughs> Larry Murphy. So 2000, 2001, 73 games, 16 goals, 24 assists, 40 points. Very good totals for Holmstrom. In the playoffs, just the six games, one goal, three assists, four points. 2001-2002, one of the best teams in the history of the National Hockey League, the 0102 Detroit Red Wings. 69 games, 8 goals, 18 assists, 26 points. And again, with Holmstrom, you don't measure him by his points. You measure him by the, the screening in front of the net, his, his fearlessness. And then in the playoffs, again, he ramps up his, his ability with 23 games in the playoffs, exactly a third of what he played during the regular season. Eight goals, which equals his regular season total. So in the playoffs, you can count on him. Three assists, 11 points. And yes, a third Stanley Cup already for Holmstrom, who's probably looking at his hand at that point going, I don't see what the big deal is. These Stanley Cup rings are easy to get. 2002-2003, 74 games, 20 goals. So his first 20 goal season. 20 assists for 40 points. In the playoffs, that was the year they got knocked out by Anaheim, shockingly. 
Four games, one goal, one assist, two points. 2003-2004, 67 games, 15 goals, 15 assists, 30 points. And 12 playoff games, two goals, two assists for four points. So the lockout takes out the season of 04-05. 2005-2006, we now have a salary cap. Detroit's impacted by this because when Detroit is winning Stanley Cups, they're also a pretty highly paid team. Uh, they have a lot of veteran players and veterans don't work cheap. Uh, these are guys who make a lot of money. So 0506, there's some some you know decisions to be made about whether or not they're going to keep some of the veteran players. Holmstrom ends up being a much more prominent player in the salary cap era. 81 games played in 2005-2006, 29 goals, 30 assists, 59 points. Revealing what we always knew with Holmstrom. Very good hands, good player, good scorer. Just he had a role with Detroit and that wasn't it. After the lockout, that was part of his role and he performed very well. Six games played in the playoffs, one goal, two assists for three points. So 06-07, 77 games, 30 goals, his only 30 goal season. 22 assists, 52 points in 15 playoff games, five goals, three assists, eight points. So 2007-2008, as people are sort of, sort of looking at Detroit and saying, well, that window's probably closed, it's probably done. A good regular season team, but... Well, uh, 59 games played that year by Holmstrom. He still gets 20 goals to go with 20 assists and 40 points. In the playoffs, 21 games, 4 goals, 8 assists, 12 points, and a Stanley Cup. So he may miss games during the regular season. He may get banged up. He is not going to miss games in the playoffs unless there's like a body part falling off. Uh, really, one of the, the tougher players that I've seen in the NHL. Tough isn't necessarily to do with dropping your gloves. It can be, like I said, he's, he's screening in front of the net. Uh, he's taking a lot of abuse from other players on the ice, and he's still out there. 08-09, 53 games, 14 goals, 23 assists, 37 points. In the playoffs, he manages to play 23 games, 2 goals, 5 assists, 7 points. So they won the Cup in 08. They went to the Stanley Cup Finals in 09. And so a lot of playoff games for Thomas Holmstrom. He is a, a big part of the team. 2009-2010, uh, 68 games, 25 goals. So again, he's missing games with injury, but he's still scoring when he's in there. 20 assists, 45 points in 12 playoff games, 4 goals, 3 assists, 7 points. And that year, he was 6th in the National Hockey League with 13 power play goals. So that's more than half of that total. Very good on the power play. 2010-2011, 73 games, 18 goals, 19 assists, 37 points. In the playoffs, 11 games played, 3 goals, 4 assists, 7 points. 2011-2012, what would prove to be his final season in the National Hockey League, 74 games, his points totals come down, 11 goals, 13 assists, 24 points. This happens with every player. You have that year where it just, it just stops, the puck stops going in the net, passes aren't quite connecting. In the playoffs, five games played, one goal, one assist, two points, and January 22nd of 2013, he announced his retirement. So for Thomas Holmstrom, 1,026 games. So he plays over a thousand games, and those are those are hard minutes he's playing. Two hundred and forty-three goals, two hundred and eighty-seven assists, five hundred and thirty points, which again, very respectful for the kind of game that he's playing. In the playoffs, 180 games played, 46 goals, 51 assists, 97 points. It's tougher to get points in the playoffs than it is in the regular season, unless you're Thomas Holmstrom, where he just cranks his game up, and he is just as good, <clears throat> if not better, at scoring in the postseason than he is in the regular season. So, uh, one sad thing, too, is that he had a knee injury that kept him out of the 2010 Olympics. Uh, and 20, 2006, he did win Olympic gold with Sweden. So, when he was in the midst of his best season, well, one of his best seasons, he had the, the most points with 59, and the 29 goals was the second highest. He also won Olympic gold that year for Sweden. So, uh, again... I'll put him in the THG Hall of Fame, because sure, why not? Hardworking player. THG Hall of Fame is made up of players who had excellent careers that I respected the whole way through, and I know aren't going to end up in the, the actual NHL Hall of Fame. And so, there you go. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.